What is up, YouTube family and friends? Uh, I have a weird uh, update or a video here. I don't really post stuff about um, this type of stuff. It's usually my truck stuff or desert stuff. But anyway, um, I am at a loss here, so I'm going to throw it up on YouTube and see what the YouTube community has to say about these scooters. Now, see the pink wheels? They got the pink wheels. Everyone knows they came from Lyft. So Lyft, um, and I think Bird, and and you know, there's some of these rental companies out there. What they did is they contracted with Segway. They had a specific model that was made for them. Now, while this is, these are nine bot Max G30s, and I believe they're Gen ones. Uh, they're made a little slightly different than the consumer model. And uh, well, I'll show you. This is really the only thing that you're going to see different on these things. The stem doesn't bend. The neck doesn't bend. So you can't fold this thing up and put it in your vehicle or whatever. Uh, so we're stuck just loading these in the bed of my truck. They, a couple of them do fit in my wife's uh, expedition, but it's, uh, it, you know, it gets really tight in there. But um, as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of... Uh, triage here trying to figure out what is going on with this thing and uh we ended up so we have four of these things and one of the things on these gen ones is definitely and especially if you got kids and they like to kind of sometimes step on this or they're doing wheelies or whatever this cracks right here it always cracks i believe uh, yep this is my youngest right here so he's starting to get cracks and he's only seven so uh, he doesn't really stand on that. I think it's just from flopping around. We do jump off of curbs with these things. Uh, this is my oldest. He's almost 11. So he's starting to do the wheelies and stuff. And then here's my wife's. And uh, I don't see any signs of cracks with hers. But, and again, she doesn't get as rowdy as the boys, you know. We're jumping these things off of every speed bump you can imagine. We're launching them. We're jumping off of curbs. Any um, cool little trail or whatever we... Uh, we, we, if we see a, a, some, a, any type of jump, anything we can catch air. So anyway, my scooter recently started having an issue climbing hills and, um, it's on flat ground. It seems like it's okay. It seems like it lost maybe a mile or two, an hour of speed. Um, so I would usually kept up with my buddy. We get, we got more of these scooters out there. Uh, so my buddy, I usually keep up with him and, uh, now, and we're about the same weight, about 200 pounds or so, give or take, but, uh, mine's slowing down and going up an incline. It's definitely slowing down. Now I did have my regen on, uh, not strong, but like medium for a while. And, uh, sometimes when I leave my house here, uh, we have the slight incline coming out. And then when we come down, uh, it, I'm on the brakes and it would beep at me like, but basically saying I can't put more into the battery, uh, because it's fully charged. I can't regen and recharge a battery that's fully charged. I think that's what it's telling me. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but just recently, I don't know what's going on. Now we ride these things a lot and I have roughly about 800, probably going on 900 miles on this thing. And I just don't know the lifespan of these, um, not time-wise, but uh, just mileage. If you keep on seeing me looking down, it's because I, it doesn't matter what I do. I got I got spray on. I got zappers. Mosquitoes here in Southern California are just, I mean, absolutely atrocious. I mean, it's the worst I've ever seen it. We, we had so much rain last season, and then we had these little spouts of rain. We had the hurricane come over, and they've just been breeding and breeding and breeding. And I'm over it. But anyway, uh, I'm not really sure what to do with my scooter. So one thing, I'm going to flip you around. One thing I did notice is when I pop this bottom cover off, I, I have this very strong electronics burning smell. And if anybody has smelled burning electronics or electronics that are ready to let go, they have a very distinct smell. It's like, it's like, I don't know, like a little bit of oil and plastic and uh, other elements that are uh, burning. And, uh, God dang it, sorry. <laughs> sorry, these mosquitoes are driving me nuts. Um, so anyway, I'm not really sure what to think about this thing because I, I, I pulled this uh, speed controller out of the way and 
kind of sniffed around in here. Now it's going to be pretty pungent. Uh, that smell is, if you guys know that smell, it, it's very pungent and it will aroma. It, it'll, it'll, it'll soak into anything that's around it. Um, and you know, if I just put my sniffer right in here, it's not as bad. And as soon as I turn this controller over and I sniff in here, it's pretty bad. Now, the reason why you're going to see a little bit of that conformal coating uh, dug out there is I believe these rental versions of these they have to they have a, a limiter and it's there's a GPS uh, doodad that goes onto the board and basically what it does is uh, if it senses that you're on a sidewalk or whatever blah 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 it limits you to like five miles an hour or maybe less I don't know walking speed but um, yeah that's that's not uh, don't don't pay attention to that that's not uh, it didn't burn out it didn't blow up right there otherwise um, you would see on the actual circuit card itself some uh, burning, but there's no burning on there. Now, I don't know if this conformal coating right here, and this is like a, an RTV, very, very sticky and pliable, uh, but it's um, it's very yellow. And the whole thing is kind of yellow, but that is very yellow back there. And the smell seems to be coming from right in this region now i'm not sure exactly what those things are it's been a long time since i've been in uh uh electronics uh i'm doing logistics now but i did used to do electronics years and years ago i don't know if those are mosfets or whatever they're called but uh yeah they're um smelling a little burnt back there so i don't know if my board is on its way out is my motor starting to fail um it still, it still has the juice. It still has, to me, enough juice to do what I want to do. Um, I'm going to go pick up my boys from school here in a minute, and uh, we're going to go on a little ride uh, while, it's, while it's, it's actually hot right now in SoCal. It's about, this week is going to be in the high 90s, maybe 100 degrees, which is insane. Uh, but this is our last push before uh, we actually hit winter. Um, we don't really have a fall. It's just kind of summer straight into freaking winter. Um, and do we do, do we really have a winner? No, we don't. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about this. I don't want to start throwing money at this scooter. Uh, I don't want to start throwing money at, at, a, at a speed control, uh, and a motor. Um, and you know, as far as speed controllers go, it's just like anything else. Uh, you know, you got things like this, you know, this is, uh, this is Arma, uh, this this uh, company likes to probably now Spectrum. They use a lot of Spectrum stuff, which I believe is a Hobby Wing product. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Hobby Wing is a good product, but if you want kind of the cast pajamas when it comes to really good stuff, you're going to be going with a Castle Creations with their um, uh, Mamba Monster X uh, that right there uh, ESC Electronic Speed Control. So you know. It, it, you, you really want to watch out and pay for what you get kind of situation with that type of stuff. And I don't want to go with some, um, I'm going to say Chinese. I'm sure they contracted out and got this from some China company, but, uh, but at what quality? And I'm sure there's some standards that were, that had to be met for Segway. Even though Segway is a, a an American company, uh, for the most part. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of these products are, um, China made. Uh, I believe they use Samsung cells, uh, um, 18650s for their battery packs, I think, uh, which are, I believe Japanese really good, uh, like those. But, um, so I don't have anything and, and here's another thing that someone, it might pop up if anyone's watching this video is, uh, did you check the battery? Well, I don't really know how to test this battery. I don't, I don't have, uh, a way to load test this battery, uh, and, and, to, and, and a monitor for it. So, uh, but it does hold a charge. It does hold a charge. Great. It lasts just as long as any of the other scooters, if not sometimes longer. Um, I did do a custom flash on my ESC, uh, which, uh, now my, my regen is pretty much down to zero, which is really weird because the only regen is when I break, um, and not when I coast, um, and I did a custom, uh, I just, I did a custom flash cause I wanted to see if I can flash, if I were to change out my motor. So my uh, used one of their custom firmwares, uh, that they had loaded on their webpage and, um, it seems to be working okay. Uh, and actually it seems to be working a little bit better than the Segway firmware that I had. 
when I started developing this issue with me kind of bogging down. So I, I just don't know if my speed controller needs to be uh, needs to be replaced. I, I'm I'm thinking I'm I'm kind of zeroing in on this uh, speed control, um, but maybe it could be a, a a faulty motor that might might have fed back uh, some some bad voltage um, back to the speed controller that 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 blew it out, or a combination of the the two. I'm not really sure, but. You know, if I if I replace both of those, you're looking at like if, if I get a good name brand speed control and then a, like a stock Gen 2 motor, I mean we're talking like 500 bucks. Scooter's not even worth that, you know. Um, so um, if there's anything out there that anyone has tried, uh, like an Amazon special speed control that works with this setup, I know some of the speed controls you see on Amazon and or eBay, the color matching the wires um, is off a little bit. I think one of them is green instead of brown. And um, it might be for a different motor. And I just want to make sure I get the correct one. Uh, when I do type in my search, I type in G30, uh, 9 bot Max G30 speed control. Um, there is nothing on this that can that would have any markings to tell you hey get this uh part number there's zero markings on this thing which is really uh concerning to me um you know i don't know if this was an aftermarket one uh, to begin with or whatever uh looks pretty legit to me from what i've seen online but yeah and uh i, I just don't know um where, where i can pick one of these up and i don't know and i can't type in a part number obviously and let me see if I could try to peel this stuff back. There might be something on this. Um, but again, I don't know. So if anyone has any information on what my situation is here, I've went to every forum. I've, I even emailed mymaxmods.com. Uh, you would think a company that's into modifying a lot of these things. Uh, this is your job. This is your company. This is what you do. Um, and you should also um, have a very good you know um database of of just troubleshooting and, and and faulty equipment and and i'm sure they do or they don't i don't know or do they log this stuff i'm not really sure or do they are they not in the repair business they're just for mods and if it works it works it doesn't it doesn't uh but it's it's really tough and of, of course segway or any other scooter company out here i know you pay for their services you're going to pay for their education their expertise whatever you want to call it but i'm not going to spend 200 dollars for a diagnostic fee and then for you to tell me well oh, let's just throw a motor out it. let's try the uh, through speed control so you owe me for those and it still doesn't work um yeah i'd rather diagnose this myself so if anybody has anything if i don't hear or have any comments on this video within the next week or two i'm just going to pull the trigger and cross my fingers that i get a good speed control from one of these sources and then that's the only problem I have. And then I just go about my business and do good. Um, I do charge up my battery. I leave them plugged in. Uh, so it, it helps condition the battery. I know some people like leaving like my LiPo batteries. Let's see, let's look at one of my good LiPos. So I like, I like keeping my LiPos uh, on storage mode uh, when I'm not using them, uh, especially my, my good graphenes, you know? Uh, you know, you want to keep those good. Those are expensive batteries, and uh, I don't like to chance it with batteries. Um, but with these scooters, we do exercise them a lot, and we ride them every week. And so, uh, whether it's a short distance, long distance, so they get their uh, drain and fill, uh, uh, um, you know, cycle, if you want to call it that. So, batteries should be good, but. Anyway, sorry for this long ranted weird video, but I just don't know what to do. And I just, like I said, I don't want to be throwing money at, at this stuff if I don't have to. Um, so let me know what you guys think. If anyone's an expert, expert on these things and they're like, you're like, oh yeah, speed control 100%. If it smells burnt like that, obviously that's what it is. Uh, but it, did it go out on its own? Did I backfeed too much voltage through my regens when I had it on? Uh, regen mode like medium or strong am I too heavy did I push it too hard uh, to regen while I, you know through the motor wires which goes you know goes through this circuit because obviously you know the, the here's the motor wires going to the motor and then it's gonna back feed into here which is gonna back feed through this guy 
and charge your battery. And this is where the smell is kind of right here. I don't want to touch that cap, but this is where the smell is. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I, I think I regen just a little too hard and it burned it out, uh, slightly burned it out. And I think it degraded components in there, whatever they're called, to the point where it's just not flowing enough amperage when I want to give it that punch and, and go fast and uh, have a good time. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm looking away from the camera a lot and I'm all jittery. I'm freaking out. These freaking mosquitoes are like driving me nuts. I'm about to lose my mind. So thanks for watching. If you have anything for me, please comment and let me know what the freak is going on with this thing. Thanks, guys. Later.